our stray dog and cat problem is believed to be among the worst in the state. The School of Veterinary Medicine at Texas A&M College Station has taken notice and students there have taken a shipping container and turned it into a clinic. That container was shipped down here to one of our rescue groups who is ready to put it to good use. Our Michael Gibson joins us now with how they plan to get it done. Michael. Well, the South Texas Animal Rescue Group now has that shipping container on its site right next to Pee Wee's Rescue. The woman in charge of that group says she's hoping to start spaying and neutering services there soon to try and attack our huge stray pet population problem. This shipping container might look out of place here on the grounds of Pee Wee's Pet Adoption Sanctuary along Saratoga. But one of the agencies who've also set up shop here called the South Texas Animal Rescue is ready to put this container into its day-to-day -day operations. That's because inside of it is a vet clinic ready to be used. We will get the supplies that we need and finish building it out as soon as we get the vet, which I'm hoping will be no later than May. If I could get a vet tomorrow, it would be built out in the next 10 minutes, literally. The Star Group submitted the winning application for the first ever mobile vet clinic built and designed by Texas A&M College Station students. It was part of the university's service project called BUILD. A&M has been building mobile medical clinics inside shipping containers and sending them to third world countries around the globe. Then the A&M veterinarian program asked for one to be constructed just for animal care. We are, of course, fully behind it. We have been wanting to do such a concept for quite a while, um, and the cards just all kind of lined out and came together with this project. And yes, there are NGOs in the world that are doing really great things like STAR in Corpus. STAR does have another mobile clinic, but because of the huge number of stray dogs and cats we have, they needed and wanted to do more. Our current clinic that we have um, is busy. We're a very high volume spay and neuter clinic, and we'll do 25 to 30 surgeries every day, and we're open four days a week. And so our goal is to hit 100 a week. Now the veterinarian program up at A&M is going to have some 175 graduates this spring, and a thought is maybe some of them would want to come down here and help run that new clinic, but that is yet to be seen. Leslie, Mike. All right.